We are Liz and Alex, and we are bikepacking 2,500 miles across Europe from London to Istanbul, Turkey. In this video, we near the finish as we cross our final country border of the trip and explore the beautiful town of Edirne. Good morning, everybody. Today is a very exciting day. We are crossing our last border crossing of the trip into our final country, Turkey. It's a little bittersweet because that means this journey is coming to an end. But as you guys have seen for the last few days, I think our bikes and our bodies are needing to be done for a while. Anyways, that's crazy. We are so close to the border. So we're gonna hit that today and we're gonna stay in this cool town that has some cool things to explore. So I'm excited about that. Let's do this final push and let's hope my saddle sore areas can handle it because already it's not feeling so hot. It's also a really hot day today. <laughs> let's go head to our last country border. It's not like me to get headaches, but since about 5 p.m. yesterday, I've had just this massive headache right on the right side of my head right here. It's just so painful and it won't go away. Uh, hoping the exercise and just getting outside will help. This is the first sign that we're seeing for Istanbul. Look at that, we're close. We're almost there. Woohoo! Seven Cars kilometers. Big trucks. Yeah, we're on a highway right now. Cutie. All right guys, today has been slightly terrifying. There's been a lot of highway. We keep taking these side dirt roads because the trucks do not give you enough room. I literally had one within like three inches of me. It's gonna take us a lot longer to get to the border because I refuse to bike on the road even if I have to take sand like I'm in right now. Look at this sand. I mean, if we end up with a flat tire, I have no way of fixing it. Never has a sign been more accurate for cyclists. This road's so much better. It's a little side road off the highway. Now that we're off the highway, this is absolutely beautiful. We're on this small country road and there hasn't been even a single car on this road. It's been really nice. It's a little warm, but it's still very beautiful. Lots of fall color still, but it is getting a lot drier. Our skin and everything has felt a lot drier here. Uh, you can definitely tell we are nearing Turkey. I think we're just about 10 miles from the border or less. goats and sheep <laughs> in 
just under three miles, we will be in Turkey officially. I saw a jackrabbit earlier. It's official. We made, we made it, it to, to Turkey! Turkey. Guys, this is really exciting. This is country number 15, our final country of our cross Europe bikepacking adventure. We should be in Istanbul in like three days. Yeah. It's almost over. Yeah, it's crazy. This feels just so monumentous. We were just like reflecting as we were going through the final check-in of how weird and different this is because we heard the call to prayer this is cool we started at like buckingham palace and so the just the contrast of london to like hearing the call of prayer just shows how far we have traveled self-powered on our bikes it's awesome it's crazy it's yeah this really yeah this was the coolest thing we've ever done guys I, for sure i feel like i'm starting to tear up <laughs> way better than I think either one of us could have imagined. Only been in Turkey for a few miles now, but it feels so different already. Just a totally different vibe. Caution. Friendly? He's definitely curious. Nope. Nope. What's going on here? No. 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 Well, they listened. Yeah. I did the Jurassic World hand thing. You know, like Chris Pratt did with the Velociraptors. Hey, hey! What did I just say? Those are such no. big... No, 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 no. No. This is an insanely gorgeous night. Look at that sunset behind me. It's lovely. Honestly, probably the prettiest sunset we've had of the trip, we think. Already, I really love Turkey. We just got here and already I love the vibe. So different than Bulgaria though, so different. So beautiful.
goodness, what are you doing? All right, guys, we are back at the hotel. It got really dark there, so we didn't film a ton, but we are in this really cool town and we decided to stay two nights because it seems like there's a lot of cool things to check out. We already saw like several beautiful mosques on the way in. So I think we're gonna like exploring here. So I'm excited to explore in the morning. Good morning everybody. We are in Adirn, Turkey and we're going to be exploring a little bit today. We just dropped off our laundry to get done and now and we tried some pomegranate orange juice fusion literally on the street. Wow. That's really, really good. I'm in love so far. Like absolutely love. It's such a different vibe. And we also got some baklava like things at this, this random store. I did zero research for this. I'm usually like researching food to death. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. Mm. I'm like oozing with syrup. Really? It's not too sweet though. Oh. It's still really good. It's like crunchy on the outside. Literally like a gush of sweet syrupy stuff goes into your mouth when you eat it. I actually really like this. It's good. I don't know what it is, but it's good. <laughs> we got three different baklava things. I didn't know there were so many different kinds of these. So I think this one is pistachio. I don't know what that one is. And this one's definitely chocolate. So go for the chocolate one first. Okay. Mmm. That one's really good. It's a little flaky, a little bit moist, very chocolatey. Very good. Alright guys, we are going to kick off our exploration with this mosque. I'm gonna butcher it, but it's called Eski Ulu Kami or Camille. I probably really butchered that. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I just went to a bazaar and got this because I read in etiquette you're supposed to, as a female, when visiting a mosque in Turkey, wear a head covering. And I'm also wearing a fleece, even though it's like 80 degrees up because I need to be covered. <laughs> and I got leggings underneath my dress. Whoa. So. I am going to do this. I don't know if I'm even wearing this correctly, but. Like as long as it covers your hair, you're okay. All of my hair? I think so. I feel like I look like a ba babushka. Babushka? Babushka. <laughs> I feel like I can't see. One sec. All right, we think we maybe have the song correctly now. Let's go. Okay, so I think this is actually my first time inside of a mosque. And it's interesting because unlike some of the cathedrals and other churches that we went to earlier, like in Western Europe, this is very different because it's not just like a bunch of chairs and with a podium, it's just carpet. And you know, obviously some structures to hold the roof up, but it's, it's just carpet in there. And so that's where you go and you pray. So now we're gonna head to mosque number two. All right guys, so it was a very short journey to the next mosque. I saw that they looked close on the map, the three mosques we're going to, but I didn't realize they were this close. Like you can see visually all three in a triangle. It makes me wonder, how do you choose, you know, as a local, how do you choose which mosque you wanna go to? I don't know.
just left this famous mosque. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because I'll know I'll butcher it, so I'll put it on the screen. A lot of it's under construction, but we were able to go through part of it. And what's interesting to me is that I always thought mosques would be like super serious, and maybe they are during prayer times, but literally kids rolling around in there. <laughs> and you do have like the men and female section of praying, but like, I don't know, it's also mixed with kids running around like crazy, so that was just funny. Anyways, now we're gonna head to the last mosque, the one just right over there. Just left the Bermali Mosque and it was very beautiful. We think this one actually might be our favorite. The courtyard area is gorgeous. It's the Bermali Mosque, which means three balconies. And it makes sense because there's three balcony tower things. That's it for our mosque and other exploration today. We'll see you guys tomorrow as we make the final push to Istanbul. Okay, Alex just corrected me. We have three more days, but it feels kind of like the final push. <laughs> we still have three more days to Istanbul. On the next episode, we show you the very dramatic conclusion to this bikepacking across Europe adventure. The question is, will we actually get to Istanbul? There's nothing we can do. No, absolutely nothing. First Turkish doggy of the trip. <laughs>